Team Marker, we finally got a movie review, guys. Action! What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? My name is Ryan D, I call it Ryan680. I'm Angela, Doc, Cat Lady, and... And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. This is our review of Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always. By the way, guys, yes, quarantine, guys. COVID right here, this COVID look all right here, guys. All right, stay tuned, this is our review. <laughs> What's going on, Animal City Booty Top fans? My name is Ryan D, a killer Ryan680, my lovely wife. Manja, that Kylie and. And this is Animal City Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans, guys, to bring the movie world right into your ears, devices. Thank you for making us a part of your day. Let's get right to it. I mean, it's been a while. I'll be honest, it's been a while. We, we've actually gone on a two week, um, well, I, I want to say almost three weeks now of not doing any movie reviews. Everything got pushed back. I mean, we've been seeing stuff all over the place. Um, uh, you know, of course, we all know what COVID-19 is and everything that's going on We're with just that. hoping everyone's staying safe. Oh, yeah. Social distancing. Oh, wait. <laughs> Are we six feet apart? Six feet apart. Uh, but, all, I mean, all bets aside, all jokes aside, guys, yeah, we hope every single one of your families is safe, guys, out there. And, and hopefully you're not one of the ones infected. If you are, we do. Uh, we are hope recovery. you have a speedy recovery. Yeah. Please, please do, guys. Let's get right to it. All right. So this is our review of Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always which is kind of a different tone of movie what's what's going on right now because everyone's watching you know a lot of the um a lot of the uh virus movies right now that's going on so this yeah is so it's, different. it's, it's yeah. definitely refreshing like you said yeah. i know a lot of people are into the whole virus kind of genre right now it's yeah, the hot exactly. topic um i thought it was refreshing um yeah. the type of movie yeah. that this was you know Breath of Fresh Air. I was really excited. I think we saw a trailer for it. Yes, we did. I think maybe like once, and then that kind of got me pumped a little bit. So I was pretty, going into it, I kind of understood a little bit of what it was about. Yeah. Um, and I actually, it it did not disappoint. It didn't whatsoever. I mean, I am very, <clears throat> I'm actually kind of surprised how much of a good movie this really was. I mean, going back, I mean, think about it. We just got done watching it. I was just like, damn, there's some really good moments that I really did like in this movie. A lot of, a lot of stuff. We're not going to mention any spoilers whatsoever, guys. So we're not going to mention any spoilers whatsoever. But there's a lot of intense scene moments. And it's not even just, it's not action. It's just it's just that that pure warmness of of uh, action dialogue that I like to call it. And it's just such, I mean, I don't even know if you call it action dialogue. It's like all calmness with mixed with like, intense it's, questions it's and, just yeah. literally dialogue that's all yeah. it is um which is great because it, it's a lot of i don't know you mentioned it a lot it's a lot of raw footage which i really did love and enjoy it, it really is um I, it's really raw at least i took it like that you can correct yeah. me if i'm wrong uh it really just shows this young girl teenager minor um who goes through her journey of trying you know to get an abortion because she has an unwanted pregnancy. So we mm. see her and her cousin essentially cross state lines to to get this done. So you see what she's going through, all the emotions she has yeah. um, during the trip and and kind of understanding what the procedure is and going through everything. Yeah. And it's I really thought that was interesting to see her in that yeah. like going and through this different stages of the movie. Also, uh, we will sh uh, I mean round of applause just for this I mean this woman that's a lead, the lead actress in here it's her first row in a movie like wow like I could like it is really did show uh, her character's name was Autumn Autumn, Autumn yeah. you so see was, yeah you see her like internal struggle yeah. with the whole thing um, yeah well, going back in, uh, going back more in depth on the film showing us a, a world of truth and, and I love it because that's what we're getting right here we're getting a lot of truth we're getting a lot of facts What's going on? What's going on in her life? You show us into a different kind of world, a different kind of aspect of life of how much, I don't want to say if life sucks, but just how the situation is for them as individuals. And then also as a whole, when their cousin, you know, her and her cousin as they travel. Um, so they are, uh, this setting, it's set place in Pennsylvania at first, which is the home. And I love it because the setup is pure greatness. Like, I love it. It has a really good raw, like we already said already, raw footage in here. And it shows us what we're getting ourselves into and it's it's intense and it isn't because the there's not very much um setup that you need to understand yeah. what's going on so you see the kind of life that she lives like where she works well, where it was her because i love how we yeah we see where she works at we but see you everything. don't really need too much like not most of the movie is not dedicated to oh, setting no, up yeah, yeah. everything and yeah. so you just get a little bit of glimpse and it doesn't take very much to understand what yeah. kind of situation she's in i would say like the first 30 minutes maybe less than that probably yeah like yeah and i really liked how like you saw like like you said and not it's kind of there's a better way to say it, but kind of like, oh, like it sucks to be in that situation yeah. um, that she's going through, like 
with her job and, and certain yeah. aspects of her life. Um, but I do like, I got to give as much kudos to the lead actress. I got to give yeah. props to the, the cousin that has supported her throughout the entire journey that she has. And yeah. um, that actress was very, very de- well yeah. done uh, as well. Uh, she did a great job as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the di- I mean, the di- this movie felt very directed and I, f- I felt like it was a great, good uh, point of direction in this movie. And I was just like, okay, this is act one. This is, you know, this is what, this is what we're going to do for act two. And it felt like there wasn't too many things all over the place. It was just a straightforward story. Which is always good, and focus features always does stuff like that because they're yeah. Focused. It's a super simple story. It's her journey yeah. going across state lines and getting this done, and you just see what she goes through, like the struggles and hardships she yeah. goes through as she's you know as they're making this trip. Yeah, her cousin's freaking awesome. I love her cousin. Like that was. A I great gotta cousin. give yeah. kudos. Like that is like great support system. La familia. <laughs> yeah, and that was a huge. I mean, because it. Uh, I guess it's not really a spoiler, but she doesn't really have a support system, and her cousin supports her throughout the, you know, and we should see that in the trailer too as well. Like she's with her, so they do go to New York and everything, and they go and they go experience uh, what it's like to be in New York, which is pretty crazy. Which I've been in New York, and it's uh, I have pretty accurate, and you know, people are <laughs> a little bit weird, a little bit rude. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but yeah, so uh, I I wouldn't say relate. I could just say you probably would f- you can understand you what could she's feel going for her. through. Um, cause again, it's, it's about a touchy subject, um, yeah. political. Um, but I feel like anyone who watches this can feel for this girl, mm-hmm. like, and understand what she's going through. Cause the actress does such a pretty good job of conveying the struggle that she's going with trying yeah. to get, you know, this done. Yeah. And she, I mean, she's speak, uh, she's seeking out medical help after, un, you know, unplanned pregnancy. So it's a very, yeah, it's a very touchy subject for everybody guys. Um, but yeah, so I mean, and then what we're going to, uh, touch base on a few things real quick but yeah so cousin chemistry was really great as well i love that about, about it so much now the intense questionnaire that was they were asking her was very um man it was it was wow i, I was just feeling for her during yeah, those moments so at the that clinic, was that was the intense moment at, at the clinic the questionnaire she had to go through yeah, that and was, that was very it's so simple the questions she asked, but it's so powerful yeah. because you know we don't know what she's going through, mm-hmm. um, and you see how she reacts to the questions, and you yeah. just feel for her. Yeah, I, was, I mean, yeah, for real, for real. I, I, and then, like I said, a great story. It's a really great story to tell, and and like like I said, it's just the direction was very done very well. Um, and you know, you you start feeling for, you start caring for this girl so much, and you know, you just want her to make the right decision. You want her, you know, to. You want her to come out of this great and okay, at least for the at least okay for the most part. And uh, but yeah, I mean, I just yeah, I was. Uh, it's a very intense movie without any action sequences whatsoever. Literally no, yeah. no action, all dialogue. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this movie runtime comes out to be an hour and forty one minutes, guys. It actually will be available tomorrow. Uh, videos on demand, guys. So uh, this episode has released on Thursday, so it will be available tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so Focus Features releasing it, obviously for tomorrow on video on demand because of what's going on and yeah so it's a really it's a really thing to get your uh to get your mind at ease to change uh to change it up what's going on in the world right now um so another thing um i would say too as well is that i mean i just you know i liked how this movie was well written i felt like it was a well written story i like how it was like just spot on uh, I, I liked it i really did like it a lot guys so this is actually directed by eliza uh hitman and she is actually well known for 13 reasons why i am not surprised about that whatsoever yeah, i can you? see that no i'm not surprised women power baby i'm actually well, excited i love women directors it's more like it's just the subtleties of like written and directed by the way very touchy subjects mm. that i really like like she very did. political it's not over in your face political it's but political. it it could spark argument it could yeah. spark debate and i think that's so personal well i think it's just supposed to get the conversation started oh, and yeah. Most and definitely. where people take that beyond that it's up to them but mm-hmm. i think like 13 reasons why and then something like this it's to yeah. get that conversation out there that this is what happens in real life yes most definitely. a lot of people struggle with um and just get the conversation started. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for real, for real. I just, I, you know, I, I'm so excited. Even I'm even because I really didn't look up like who was the director and everything. I am more excited, more happy that you know that this was a woman director, uh, Eliza Hitman. So just to know that she's done Thirteen Reasons Why, 
that explains a lot <laughs> a lot, it lot. I, and i thought like i liked 13 reasons why like the subtleties yeah. that they had i mean it wasn't too in your face at least i didn't think so you can correct me if you have a different opinion um but it's kind of the same thing like it it, it has this controversial yes. topic t- touchy yeah. topic and she kind of like tells the story of a one woman's struggle. Yes, and it does. I, and I, I like that a lot. Yeah, it was done too. very well. It, yeah, and for, yeah, and, and and you could tell it's it's you could also tell it's it's done by a woman because the way it, the way it, I would hope it would be done by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> the way, yeah, based on the um, topic. I mean, I'm sure a man you know can understand, sure, yeah. but it's, it, it, yeah. Yeah. I liked it. I really did enjoy this movie a lot. Uh, was this the fun that we deserved, everyone? I would say yes. Yes, oh, I, I, I am a fan of yeah. controversial political yeah. movies, especially if they're done very well. Yes, and they they create a, a open, you know, channel for discussion and yeah. and um, thoughts and views and stuff. So I liked. I always I, any film that can do that, do yes. that. I'm always for. It's gonna start a lot of conversations. It really is, and it just you know. Uh, this this was the film that we deserved. I freaking loved it a lot. Um, I can honestly say this is probably one of the uh, out of the movies out of this whole year we've seen uh, the new movies. I think this is one of the top ones of the year so far. <laughs> yeah, I could say that, but also it's not fair because a lot of <laughs> yeah, a lot of got pushed away. We have had a chance um, to review yeah, a lot so, of them. I mean, this is a very strong film, guys. I almost see movie talk does recommend you go see this movie. At well, you can't watch it here, but watch the videos on demand, guys. So be sure Stream to check it. it out. Stream it, baby. Stream it. Okay, so um, yeah, yeah, we do recommend this movie. I, you know what? Uh, maybe I'll buy it to pay, if it's on sale. I'll buy it. All right, I mean, All I right. can get behind that. All right, Angela, what are you gonna rate this movie? That's hard. Um, uh, I think because of the topic that it covered, yeah, the story, the way it was written, the way that the cast um performed, I would yeah. probably give it a solid maybe eight. Yeah. For me, I've thoroughly enjoyed this film. You know, um, I'm gonna have to give this and and I'm, I'm gonna have to give this a nine. <clears throat> That's, I'm really strong hearted on this movie. It's a really eye opener. It's a re- it's a real strong film, and I feel like it deserves a nine in my uh, in my opinion. I just uh, yeah, it's a really good movie, guys. Be sure to check it out. Uh, check out videos on demand and everything because it's this is a really good movie to get your mind off ease and you know to focus on another thing or another topic on another issue ladies and gentlemen <laughs> yeah it's definitely there's a lot of good films out there that you know can take your mind away from the covid oh, yeah. um, pandemic that's happening um this is definitely worth a try definitely like it, it, it may seem like i said there's no action in it but you know the mm. story is very simple and it's very um it's, it's done very well yeah and so i, th- I would recommend it to everyone oh yeah at least nice. give it a try yeah and it's only an hour and 41 minutes. Come on. We can all watch it. We're all binge watching everything else, right? Ozark. <laughs> yeah, Ozark. All right, guys. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Ryan D. Angel, Ryan 680. I'm Angela, that cat lady, Ange. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans, guys. And yes, yes, I have grown a goatee, guys. Believe it or not, it's actually coming in very nicely. Angela doesn't like it, though. She doesn't like it whatsoever. Oh, well. It- it makes my face itchy. Yeah. I'm, I, to be honest, though, I haven't gotten a haircut, or so I'm. I'm actually just gonna grow all this out, and I'm gonna see what's up. I mean, I, um, I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna grow it all out, guys. Whenever and, the yeah, whenever, salons open. Yeah, whenever the barbers open, and I, that's all I'm gonna actually gonna full on cut it and everything. And, and yep, same completely, here. I op- yeah, I opened it. It's growing. I, uh, changer <laughs> for me. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Uh, thank you for making us a part of your day. Be sure to hit that subscribe button once again, guys. Give us a thumbs up if you like a review. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you for making us a part of it. Catch you later.